104.5 the team 104.5 the team.com we all love the story of overcoming obstacles we love the story of, of overcoming adversity and perseverance the cleveland sports curse has just been lifted lebron james makes good on his championship uh, promise with the Cavaliers first championship for Cleveland in more than 50 years now I shift my attention to the curse of the capital region if you've noticed at the Tri-City Valley Cats games at the end of the seventh inning they have the hot dog race okay you've got ketchup you've got mustard and you've got relish and relish has never had an official win in the hot dog race that has been taking place since 2006 we have relish on the phone right now relish has the cleveland curse being lifted inspired you yeah absolutely i think uh this is the year for the underdogs and and this is the year to uh, to breaking curses out here so you have had no wins ever 2006 is, it has how long this the hot dog race has been going on. It's 2016. How do you keep coming back year after year? Uh, we've had a lot of close calls. Uh, I've gotten DQ'd a couple of times. Uh, sometimes I've been winning. Uh, start out the gate hot, uh, come around the stretch, and they need either ketchup or mustard. Uh, ends up tripping me. I've been tackled a couple of times right before I was about to cross the finish line. Uh, so I've seen the goal. I've seen the line, uh, and in my head, I've, I've visually seen myself crossing it first and beating those other two hot dogs. You, I, I just, it feels like whatever can go wrong will go wrong. That's what LeBron and Cleveland have just overcome. It feels that way for you, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like I said, uh, I've been tackled off my bike. I've been stopped by a police officer before. Um, I've been stopped by a coach, a player. Uh, Charlie the Bat Boy's gotten in my way. I've had water thrown on me. Uh, everything that's gone wrong has gone wrong. Um, kind of like uh, the fumble or the greatest drive against us. Uh, I've seen it all out here at the Joe, but uh, but this is the year that we uh, we overcome those obstacles and I get the ball across the finish line uh, for my first official victory. Heading into the top of the eighth inning at the Tri City Valley Cats, the hot dog race relish winless in his career, but you thought you had a victory at the 2008 All Star Game. What happened there? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they DQ'd me at the end. Um, uh, I forget the what shenanigans they pulled. Uh, some textbook or some rule book uh, in fracture, but uh, you know what? They they took it away from me. But I thought I had a victory then in front of a packed house here at the Joe. So just waiting for my moment. Uh, you know, maybe this year on Fourth of July. Uh, last night was fifty cent hot dog night, so I thought maybe that was my opportunity to take it home for the hot dogs. But uh, just waiting for my moment, and, and I will shine. Relish, how do you – it feels like you're fighting an unfair race every night. I mean, you're talking about being tripped, having water thrown at you. Does this happen to, to, to ketchup or mustard? Uh, not that I've seen. No, it always seems to happen to me. Um, you know, I don't know why people don't like Relish. Uh, uh, I think it's a, it's a great product. Uh, I like having Relish on my hot dogs. So I eat them, um, and uh, we should be winning. Relish, we're rooting for you to go get that elusive first ever victory. Valley Cats games heading into the top of the eighth inning. We need everybody to get behind Relish. We've got 30 plus home games left in this 2016 season. Relish, you've got to get at least one victory. We're all pulling for you. Sounds good. Well, I feel like I got the capital region behind me so I can make it happen now.